Now, in this video, we are going to see how we can create the quizzes. Before going through this video, please go through the installation and configuration video. And now, let us go through the creation process. Before that, we'll go through, uh, we'll check if the Core Joomla jQuery plugin is installed and enabled. Go to the extensions, plugin manager, and check if the Core Joomla jQuery plugin is installed and it is enabled. Now go to the front end where we already have created a menu item for the community quiz. Click on it and you can see the page where you can create the quiz. Since you are already logged in, the create new button is displayed. So click on it. And this is the page where you can create the quiz, the start point of the creation process. Enter a new title of the quiz and a brief introduction about the quiz. This will be shown to the users before they are going to take the quiz. A short introduction and a title. The title will be used in the URLs of URLs of the quiz and the time duration is the number of minutes number of minutes that the quiz has to take in a time bounded quiz will make use of this number to end the response within the stipulated time so if you want to restrict the user from take giving the response within certain time frame make use of it and select a category and the show, show result option will enable your users to view the correct answers after they will take the quiz so enable the show result option and the show template option will display your Joomla template when the users are taking uh, the quiz this template will be shown when they are taking the quiz if it is disabled the quiz will be taken on the entire page and the multiple responses will allow you users to take the quiz multiple times so now click continue to create the quiz now here you can add the questions that you want the first page is already created that you can see on the toolbar and create using new pages by clicking on new button and uh, you can remove the pages by clicking on the remove button click new to create a new page go to the page page number two make sure that you have saved all the questions before going to the different page otherwise the questions will be lost so there are no questions go to the second page and you can see the page questions here if uh, if there are any let's go to the first page and create some questions first pa first question is the page header which will be added on top of the page while the user are taking the quiz let us add a page page header question Enter some title and description and once you enter the title and description you can click save button to save the question unless you save it it will not save it. and if you want to remove that click on the delete button and let us add one multiple choice question enter title and a brief interaction of the question like you can describe the question here and enter the answers of the question the options different options you can add another option by clicking on add option button 
and you can rearrange the options by click and drag these options just click on them and drag them to reorder the question answers once you reorder the answers you can select different options like whether the question is mandatory or the user has to okay, can and he ha, he can enter his own answer the custom answer or the type of the uh, question that is radio buttons check boxes or select box right and let's take this radio buttons and click save button to save the question you can edit that question by clicking on that question or you can delete the question by clicking on the delete button let us add one more question let us add grid type question enter some sample title and enter some description of the question and now enter columns and rows of the great question and now you can rearrange the questions right there by just clicking and dragging on the markers you can add you can add or remove the columns and rows just leave the boxes empty to remove them or add another row and column you can make them mandatory and click save now the question is saved a couple of questions are added to the quiz you can go to the next page and see Add another question in the second page and enter the answers. And let us make it as checkboxes and save it. Now we have added another question in second page. Let us go back to the first page and you can reorder the questions by clicking on uh, the up and down arrows on right corner of each question. You can reorder using the buttons there. And you can go back to the second page to see the questions there. You can click on new remove buttons to add or remove pages. Make sure you don't click on remove button unless you're sure that you want to remove the currently displayed page. You can click finish to go, go to the next page where you can enter the correct answers. Since users' answers are validated with these answers, make sure that you have selected the correct answers properly. Select the correct answers and you can enter the answer explanation for example you want to explain the answer why it has to be the correct answer for example you are explaining about the scientific formula and you want to explain why you have arrived with that answer you can explain it here this will be shown when the users are viewing the results if the results are enabled for the user to view they will be shown with the answer explanation that will be useful for him to see why that answer is correct let us make the correct answers and select all correct answers and click on the submit button to save the correct answers and you can see the quiz created here and you can edit or 
view the reports the links are displayed there let us take the quiz now click on the link of the quiz you can see the description of the quiz and click on the continue button to take the quiz now here the first page you cannot submit unless the answer is submitted because they are mandatory we have selected them as mandatory so you have to select them select the answers and click continue and in the second page you can select the answers since the rating is enabled the rating box is displayed so and select the rating and answers now you have the report page that will be shown the correct answers and the answer explanation and the final score we have a couple of correct answers here and one wrong answer so the final score of this response is 2 the user can take the quiz again or view his responses or go back to the home page and the rating is shown here and can be sorted all the quizzes by top rating and view the reports by clicking on the reports link since one response is made that one is displayed there you can view the response by clicking on the view details link and go back to their page and export it to CVA CSV file and go back to the home page and you can edit the quiz by clicking on edit button or you can view the quizzes created by you and uh, responses you can see if the quiz is published or is pending for approval etc here and you can see the responses that you have responded to the quizzes when we click on the response you will be shown with the response that you have given and click home to go back and that's all about the front end